story by Nijukova, Moscow. Marta Nicholas II helped me achieve justice. I want to tell you how my family was helped when I appealed to Tsar Nicholas II and his daughter Olga. My daughter owned and worked at a kiosk where she hired security guards to watch after hours and on holidays. She owned this kiosk until September 1996, when she sold it since she was expecting her first child. She completed all of the paperwork, submitted it to the Internal Revenue Service, and paid all of her debts. A year and a half later, she received a court summons accusing her of failing to pay the security guards in September and ordering her to pay 2,000 rubles in arrears. The judge ruled in favor of the security guards and ordered that the debt be paid within 10 days. My daughter called and told me everything that had happened in court, devastated by the judge's harsh treatment of her. My daughter is not working right now since she is raising a child, and her resources are quite restricted, so paying such a sum is not an option for her. And, knowing the marvels of the royal martyrs, I instructed her to pray to Tsarbatushka and his daughter Olga, and I prayed to them myself, begging them to help my daughter Olga. We were astonished to hear the judge announce. The court's decision is rescinded, and I refuse to investigate this matter. The security guard spokesman expressed no concern, and everyone left the court. Testimony of Marina Vladimirovna Mikheva, Voznesenka, Sumy Province. Miracle in the Hospital. I'd want to tell you about true help from the new martyr Nicholas II, which appeared to a teenage boy who had been sick for a long period. I, his mother, always remembered Tsar Nicholas, who was both in church and at home. My mother told me about him and advised me to always memorialize the Tsar. My grandfather on my mother's side, a humble villager, was in the war in 1914 and saw the Tsar. When he learned that they had shot the Tsar, he grieved, saying, now we have no father. My son suffered from Bacteri's disease from childhood, and my heart suffered for him. Then one day I had a dream. Tsar Nicholas II was sitting on a stool facing me. I recognized him from the picture we had and the feeling of his spirit. I saw him and rejoiced and said, Tsar Nicholas, I commemorate you. I came closer to him and said, Tsar Nicholas, will my son recover? He will recover. He tenderly answered, and the dream ended and it came true. My son suddenly got sick with meningitis. They carried him on a sheet to the ambulance, and he lay in the hospital unconscious for two weeks on a drip. The doctors pronounced the verdict, either he won't come out of this state, or he'll be disabled. I kept the Psalter by his bedside all day and night. Then one day, everything just vanished. My boy elevated himself and began speaking normally. The doctor was amazed. It was a miracle, Story by Natalia. We underestimate the help of Martin Nicholas II and his family. I have a deep affection for and respect for the holy royal martyrs. I prayed for them to meet my future husband. And I met him almost immediately. At one point, a crisis and significant strife broke out in the household. It came to a divorce. Again, I prayed to the Tsar and his family. I asked him to save my marriage and not lose my God-given husband. I got what I wished for. Last year, I even specially chose the date of the operation on the day of remembrance of the royal martyrs. And the operation went better than the doctors had planned. At home, in addition to their icon, there is also a portrait of the royal family. This is my ideal family that I strive for. Sadly, many families do not turn to the royal family in prayer. We underestimated his help, and he will help.